Thanksgiving begins a very special time of the year for us. It's the time of peace and reflection and of getting ready for the new year. One thing we should all be thankful for is that we live in America, where we have the freedom to change things and the opportunity to grow. If you gotta take your show, mother truckers! I got wasted last night, okay? Are you drinking? Don't do this in front of my friends. I've heard the news of Lady Gaga playing party friends. I, I, I hate her. I hate her in every aspect of the world. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Ah, come I, on, maybe, maybe she should do a, a singing thing where she starts like. Somebody throws up fat juice on. Uh, I always remember one concert I saw that she did in Austin. That. She would have somebody drink some black liquid and literally she would stand under the person and she would like, and the other person would throw up on her while she oh, was weird. in her concert. Yeah. And and you saw this. It was on you one of the concerts. Personally? That's like the one time I, I went hunting and they're like, did you kill anything? And I was like, six pack. <laughs> <laughs> He got old, man. Did you see how old he looked? That was he. Gosh, man, he looked like like Joe yeah. Biden's nephew, man. I don't know. I lost all respect with that. That was a wild call. Yeah. You can hear me, Blue? Nah, maybe it's my phone. Oh, he's like, he's like, do you hear me better? He's like, he's all lying. <laughs> What is up, everybody? How's it going? It's Daniel J. Welcome back to the Drunk Turkey Show. As long, with me, as always, is our boy Jaime G and Big Blue. How you guys doing tonight? What's up? What's good. up? Pretty good. We're good. We're good. Well, look at here. We have a uh, special guest in the uh, comment section there. Oh, the infamous. The infamous. The the mysterious. The yellow the beast. Elusive. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, guys, we did have well, for, we did have uh, Jonathan Joss, the actor. Uh, most everybody knows him from uh, King of the Hill as John Redcorn. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it as of yet. Unsure if he's going to be coming in later. He might jump in. He might not. If he does, great. If not, the show must continue and the show must go on. Um, how are you guys doing this week? And anything anything fun happen? We'll start off with you, Hyman. Um, not really, man. I was going to go fishing in the morning and whatnot, but. Man, my bed felt so badass, man. I was like, screw <laughs> it, I'm gonna stay in. Oh, I can imagine. What about you, Blue? Do you anything this weekend? Not this weekend, man. It's my weekend to work, so I've been just chilling, working and sleeping, you know. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I hear you, man. I um, it, it was a big weekend for me. Um, what do you call it? The Pittsburgh Steelers started their uh, preseason game, so I got a little bit crazy last night watching the the preseason game uh <laughs> did, did y'all did y'all catch any i think the cowboys played last night did yeah. they Wait, yeah aren't you a bears fan though Blue? i am a bears fan <laughs> but i still watch the cowboys you know it's, it's just habits no <laughs> not true <laughs> you want to feel disappointed once in a while <laughs> well, <laughs> Even with the Bears, I feel disappointed. So it doesn't matter which team I watch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch them at all. He's like, when I, when I feel extra depressed, I want to watch the Cowboys. Is that what he's trying to say? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what he said. Oh, um, man. I only got to see like the second half last night, and they still were blowing it. So, yeah. <laughs> Huh. Interesting. So, yeah. yeah the, um, <clears throat> well, I mean, it's all a bunch of rookies and people that nobody knows about. Um, and so it's not something that's not uncommon, but when it comes to the preseason, it's one of those things where, um, don't put too much faith into it because it's not even the starters playing. And so <clears throat> I try many, to remind myself that Go ahead. how many preseason games are there? Oh, uh, there's three, man. There's three, three preseason games. Well, four, if you count the, the, the hall of fame game, but only two teams play that game a year. And so outside of that, there's three, three games. And then. Um, then the regular season starts. I believe the kickoffs like September 11th uh, for the Steelers. They're going to be in uh, against the um, the Bengals or the Bungles. In at home? Uh, nah, it's in Cincinnati. The first game. 
The second game's at home. The home opener is going to be against the uh, the Patriots. I, or me and my wife, will be uh, going to go see the Steelers play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in uh, uh, in Pittsburgh this year in on Ooh. October. So that one's interesting. We'll be excited to go see that one. Isn't that um, Ugo's some team? Yeah. From my understanding, that is Hugo's team. Right. Uh, the other infamous, elusive, crypto, <laughs> crypto <laughs> friend. <laughs> oh man! I, I I saw him in the real flesh last Friday, but it's the last time it's been a while. Did you take a picture for proof? I did. I did. He went to the <laughs> so. Hey, I saw Jonathan at the dollar store, but he didn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pulled out the Uno reverse card on him. The tables have turned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. <clears throat> I haven't seen those guys in years. Probably <laughs> probably like two, three years now. This has been about the last time I ran into those guys. Hopefully <laughs> they'll come on the show sometime soon. Yeah, uh, that'll be fun. Yeah, no, yeah, it definitely will be. I'm still a little bit kind of, I don't want to say disappointed, but a little bit you know, disappointed that John Redcorn or Jonathan Joss couldn't make it today. But things happen. We um, watched a lot of his shows and movies and stuff like that in preparation. Uh, what were yeah. some of the movies that you watched in preparation of the show, uh, Hyman? Um, I watched the uh, well, I watched uh, Magnificent Seven, man. That, that was pretty cool, man. I enjoyed the hell out of that movie. What was it about? I haven't seen it. It's uh, it's about a, so I think De well, Denzel comes out and he's like the the main one of the main characters, and he's uh, pretty much hired to take out a. Like an outlaw gang that's taking over a town, trying to take over all the the gold mining there. So he has oh. to go recruit um, six other people um, to like to help them rid of uh, those outlaws taking over the the town. It was pretty cool, man. I enjoyed it. Nice. It was fun. So it's uh, Denzel, Ethan Hawke, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Pratt. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was pretty cool. Nice, nice. What about you, Blue? Did you catch any uh, any of the movies that he uh, starred in or, or appeared in? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw The Magnificent Seven also, and I also saw a bunch of the King of the Hill episodes. You know, I tried to catch up a little bit on that. Yeah. And then, I, you know, I saw, I looked them up, saw what movies he was in, and I seen if I seen any. And I do remember one as a child that I saw, man, and I wanted to ask him how it was working. One of my favorite actors, which was Chris Farley, man. He came out in a movie called Almost Famous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost heroes. Almost heroes. Okay. Almost heroes. Almost heroes. Yeah. And uh, almost famous is a whole different. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> almost, almost, heroes. <laughs> almost heroes. Yeah. It might be a porn. It was, it, one of my. It was one of my favorite he, uh, movie actors, man. Too bad he passed away. You know. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know that, sure. that's crazy because I was gonna I was gonna ask him too about the same movie how like that was like Chris Farley's like last movie before he passed. And for him to come out with him, that was, that was fucking like the the exchange, especially when they had that scene together. That shit was funny as hell. They yeah. fucking snap each other. That shit was funny as hell. That's <laughs> yeah, true. But like next time, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure we can get him back on. I think um, there was a confusion a little bit about the days, and I think his wife or something was coming in. Uh, he had thought yeah. it was yesterday, so it's not a big deal. Um, we'll, I'm sure we can get him back on uh, as soon as he gets all those um, his date cleared, his schedule cleared up. Yeah, uh, yeah. But in the meantime, in between time, tomorrow we have Buddy Vargas coming on. He's a uh, singer songwriter out of out of uh, Texas. Performs here locally throughout Texas. In fact, I think he's performed in Del Rio at the White Horse a couple of times as well. He'll mm -hmm. be on the show tomorrow. He'll be kind of giving us his. His updated uh, set list of what he's going to be doing, you know, here in the near future. Um, <clears throat> but um, yes, that's Jonathan coughing again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that was my bad. I'm, I didn't mean to think on that. <laughs> All right. What the hell? What, what, is the, what am I watching? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm watching y'all. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he likes to stare at himself when he pleasures me. He wants. He likes to look at himself multiple angles. So he yeah. has the show. He has the show on on his phone. <laughs> so make sure he has his good. Stuff. I think the reflection that you are seeing is my light. I put it on green, but uh, let me, there you go. Oh, there now. Now it feels more natural. It's yeah, it's more light. Cool yeah, yeah. <laughs> <A> little natural. <laughs> um, 
Hey, man. Uh, so one of the things that we also like to talk about is, I guess, current events and current things that are going on. Did y'all hear about uh, that actress that passed away here recently in that car accident? Did y'all see anything about that? I believe her name was Anne Hesh. Did y'all? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that was that was crazy, man. Apparently, that was. Uh, she, she was in a car accident that caught on fire and passed away. And I think she had like a bunch of uh, uh, fen- fentanyls or something like that, fentanyls and in her in her system did Ooh, y'all sounds familiar yeah that thing's been going around a lot lately yeah. man that thing it's coming th- it's coming it's, it's coming through my town man through the border towns yeah it's true did y'all see the uh that that the image of that video where um she's uh, people are saying she's in a body bag and then yeah. she rips out of it i don't think it's as much of a body bag as it is um some kind of protectant because she was under you know, i guess she was in fire so i think they were trying to protect her from yeah uh, you know the exposure to the sun but i actually have it pulled up well this this uh, if, it, if it's a fire sometimes they try to cover the skin man because it blisters really bad they had to put some kind of like a wet or cool compress on there to stop the skin from peeling off when they pull they pull her up man so now blue you're the only one here with uh medical medical uh I guess uh, experience. Uh, when you're in one of these bags, would they strap your head down? Uh, sometimes they do strap the head down because they want to make sure that there's no neck injury. Uh-huh. So that way, there's not a lot of movement on the neck. They strap them down. So I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna play a little bit slower because you can see there's a strap right here across, and yeah. that the strap gets moved. And then that's when she comes out. Ooh, that's yeah, that's crazy. So I don't know, man. You, you would think that in that state there would be paramedics around her or something, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, you know, not just I don't, have I don't, her there. Yeah, and like this, there's like they part like three miles away. First of all, <laughs> they had to wow. Uber to the damn thing. Like that, I didn't know that part. I, I knew that she was driving crazy, and and apparently there was like a uh, like a video of her just boom, flying through. Yeah, I saw that shit, man. That like she was going like like ninety, like in the in the neighborhood, and then the, and then the house got in her way. Yeah. yeah. Too soon. Too soon. Hey, yeah. Too, too soon. soon. Yeah. Ah yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, yeah. You're gonna tell me to shut the fuck up like Beto did right now, and I laugh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. Did, did you hear anything about the uh, the homeowner? Is, is she hurt or she, was she there or anything like that? I haven't I seen that part. I, I only remember listening to the that uh, they were taking her off life support, and she ended up passing because they had her on a ventilator and they took her off because oh shit, her vitals weren't 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 stable enough. I think and she passed away that way. Look, she, was not, like, she was in the hospital for like a couple of days. Oh, okay. I'm not really familiar with her movies. Um, I mean, I know yeah. she is. I just I can't. I can't think of any movies right now off the, off the top of my cabeza. Dude, I, I always remember her playing the uh, man. Um, how can I put this delicately? Just do the it. jerk, the the, the 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 bitch in the movie. Like I don't want to say that, but she was always the one that had like the attitude and. Oh, and, okay. You get what I'm saying? Like she was in John Q, and she yeah, was. Yeah. That's the one that I don't. I, that I, I remember her mostly. That I didn't like her from. She was like the insurance lady or whatever. I oh, didn't want to 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 approve of the uh, the kids. You know, heart transplant. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh. she was also in uh, in a movie called Volcano, uh, Six oh. Days and Seven Nights. I, I, the only one I remember her in it was that, that the remake for the Cycle one. I think. Yeah, yeah. she was in. That's her, she was that's in her that right? One. Yeah, yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's the only one I can remember, like uh, the top of my head. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I remember her in Volcano. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember in Volcano. I remember her in John Q. And that's the one that I, like I said, and, and that made me dislike her, like from every movie. Bro, you dislike the character? No, <laughs> <laughs> just like me with Lady Gaga, huh? Yeah, for <laughs> now maybe, but you know, she just had one of those like. Um, like, yeah, maybe her, it was her character, but 
at the end of the day, I, I, I couldn't stand her character and who she was in the movie John Q. And so that's where I remember her from was from that movie. You know, it's just it's unfortunate. It's just sad. You know what happened to her? Nobody deserves to, to go that way. Uh, but, you know, actions, you know, she I don't know. Maybe she was drugged or anything like that. But man, it doesn't sound like it. There's all that, that, you, that is a serious drug, man. That shit. It will fuck you up, man. And yeah. depending on how much she, if she had it in her system, you know that stuff makes you go crazy sometimes, man. But there, there's a theory that supposedly she was being um, pursued by someone. I don't know if that's true or not. Well, I mean, given the narcotics that she was under, um, she could have been paranoid in thinking that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because. It's one of those things where, I mean, I'm not sure what what fentanyl does to the body or why somebody would want to take it, it or if that's something that is um, just the word I'm looking for. Uh, you know, in smaller doses is, is something that gets somebody high. I, I wouldn't know. I've never done it yeah. or thought of. I just know that people have overdosed it <laughs> fairly easily. You know, it's insane that people are still, you know, trying to get high off of it. Yeah. That is that's crazy. Uh, but you know, it's it's one of those things where because these people are famous, you never think that they would, you know, be in a situation like this. You know what I'm saying? Well, I heard a lot that they they usually take drugs to keep up with their schedules and whatnot. That makes sense. That yeah. does make sense. It's like a big opiate. So it's a big pain medicine. So I'm looking at right now. You see, apparently she had crashed beforehand into into like a um, a garage, like a parking garage, and mm -hmm. then she took off from there, hauling mm -hmm. ass, and then that's when she uh, got into some type of accident. And that's kind of the research I'm doing real quick on the side here. That's just it's just a sad, unfortunate you know thing to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless of who it is. Yeah. Well, that's that's crazy, man. Because like. Um, that fentanyl is getting pushed in from down south, you know what I mean? Through all these border towns and whatnot. And that's like one of the main killers right now in the United States. Yeah. No, it definitely is. Um, that's insane, man. And then fentanyl, uh, like, uh, Michael Jackson died from also? Or is it a different one? Michael Jackson died from like an overdose of a bunch of things. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe <apparently>, kids. <laughs> right. Um, he apparently was taking a bunch of drugs uh, to to go to sleep and look at this right here. They take drugs to keep up with all the sex. Yeah, well, that's, that's <laughs> also true. <laughs> that's true. It is. Let's see. <clears throat> Good old Isaac. Let's see. Well, Isaac, so, this for you. <laughs> but you know, it's just one of those things where. Um, you know, if it wasn't somebody famous, nobody would really be. No, it, it wouldn't be any news. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it is what it is. Uh, on a lighter note, what what um, have y'all seen that new photo that's been circulating? I've been looking for it. It's Which one of a uh, apparently blue? it's a nineteen nineties. It, it could be. It's a nineteen nineties photo of Blue Topless. No, oh. like a, <laughs> I don't need to see that with a photo. I got a video. <laughs> Only a few people have that special special photo, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they they fucking they hacked your OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, trying to 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 find this thing. You know what? I think I I think I found it. Which one is it? All right, let me share the screen. Oh, I think on. I saw that earlier. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, that shit's clean, man. Yeah, that is. I'm trying to figure out if I can get a. Um, let's see. Save image as you. All right. So this is a 1990 Scottish spacecraft sighting. Let me see if I can um, share it real quick. Um, you know what? I know where to do it. I know how to put it on here. All right. So I'm going to put it uh, right here. Right here. All right, so it's uploading. Apparently, this is one of the pictures that's been cleared up from 1990s in like the UK slash Scotland. One of the clearest pictures that have been taken, and it, it's put out there. 
And there it is. Y'all see that? Yeah. And so this one is just released from Jeremy Corbell. I think this might be something that's been cleaned up or doctored, but because I saw the original one and it didn't look as clear as this. It, initially, when I saw it, there, there looked like there was a um, brush or something that was kind of coming over it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I think I found it. I found the, um, I think I found the original one. Uh, let me see if I can get it going. All right. There it is. Let me pull this off. And so it, this picture right here. Oh, yeah. There's a plane in the background. There's this. When I initially saw this, I thought that's that's pretty interesting. That that, that looks pretty cool. You have the uh, the triangular shape. You have the plane in the background. But as I looked at it more, does that look like a boat upside down in the water? Yes. Yeah, I remember you commented earlier on that. <laughs> It looks like a boat upside down in the water, and that's the reflection of the boat. And that's a reflection of a plane in the sky. It looks because the plane looks upside down. Doesn't it? Can you zoom in? Oh, there you go. Uh, oh no, it looks alright. Yeah, no, it looks it looks it looks the right. Yeah, it looks way. Upright. Yeah. yeah this is like a tree hang hanging over us. Why it looks kind of weird. Yeah, you can see the limbs or, or the uh, tree. Um, Branch. whatever you want to call it this um the leaves and the branches yeah and you can see a fence line and it's it the border right <laughs> it appears to be an upward photo of a uh saucer-like spacecraft with a uh plane at the bottom that's just crazy I know. if it's real I know. that's just crazy that is crazy, man. I just think, like I said, it looked to me when I first saw it, I was like, man, that looks like a boat upside down yeah. or, or a little piece of the of an island sticking up out of the water. And there's a reflection of it, you know, coming outwards. That was my first impression of it. But now that I look at it, I mean, I'm not. I wish I could zoom in. I mean, if it was video, it would have been the whole different story and shit. No, yeah, for sure. If it was video, it would have been a whole different thing. Uh, I just wish I could save this image. You're, you're awake? Yeah, yeah, I'm sending you a photo of the <laughs> <laughs> It was scary, bro. It was scary. <laughs> it was one of those moments. <laughs> I, I had to concentrate because I'm trying to miss with all the little buttons on there. What in the oh. hell did you... What did you send me there, Blue? Let's see. Let's, let's I'm already see subscribed that. to Pornhub, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, we can show the Australian barbarian who pops up sometimes. He pops up. Oh, right. yeah. So Mark, 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 what is this? Yeah, explain that, my friend. That, that popped up in Australia on the beach. That is insane. Like, that looks like some kind of, like, Komodo dragon and a beaver had a baby and it didn't make it. <laughs> it does. That does. Can you, can you zoom in at all? Uh, I wish I could. I, I, for whatever reason, I can't. Let me let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Let me pull that out. And then let's see. Also, uh, you know what? I also saw another one. I, I saw it on TikTok, though. So, yeah, take it with the green of salt. But what's it called? Uh, um, Like, it was like, it looked like a damn fucking dinosaur bro i don't know if you really? saw it I, think I, I don't know if i sent it to y'all but it was mm. it was trippy, man i was like it had like hind legs and flippers and shit in the front it was pretty fucking weird that tail it had a fucking long ass tail where'd you find it at uh shit, i think i saw it on tiktok man so that's you can forget about me actually looking for it like that's super suspect man you can't believe anything you see on tiktok or can you? Yeah, man. <laughs> Talk to new uh, Esquire. You know, like nobody believes Esquire. <laughs> nah, dude. You got. I mean, the the funny thing is when somebody tells you that they saw something, 
or, or they, they, they got an idea or they got a uh, advice from somewhere. And then the first yeah. thing you ask is like, where? And they say TikTok, it immediately drops all credibility. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, why it's, that's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. What else did we get in here? And you know what I was, you know, what was like really interesting though. Like you, you, you do find some badass stuff on TikTok, mainly bitches. But anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I was looking up, like I was looking through TikTok and I came uh, around uh, uh, a little, it's like a little podcast this, this girl has, and she was talking about uh, Chris Benoit and everything, all the other all theories about it. I don't know if you heard of that. Well, Chris Benoit, isn't the guy that like killed himself and his family after going roid like a yeah, roid yeah. rage situation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he had like he was like the wrestler. He was a wrestler and whatnot. And supposedly he went nuts and killed his family and then killed himself like two days Man. after he killed his family. Well, there was a lot of stuff about it, like like things that they were saying. Like the coroner was saying that he died on a Saturday, but yeah, he was sending messages through all the way through Sunday to one of his friends and shit. Like I, the whole the whole week, he was like supposedly like he was taking different routes to his house because like he was paranoid that somebody was following him and shit. And like a bunch of shit, man. Like a bunch of like like real sketchy shit was going on, especially like the, the the phones that he had and his family had. Like the the police shut him down. Like they could disconnected him real quick. And there was a lot of shit that that was not like. It was real sketchy and shit, man. I wanted to look. Um, I want to look more into it. That way we can discuss it more, maybe in a future, a future uh, video. That'll be yeah, sure, man. Yeah, I know they have a Dateline on it. I saw it. I seen the Dateline on it. So they, they, yeah. the videos out. There. But if he was taking an excess amount of uh, of steroids, wouldn't that make him paranoid? And then if he killed his family, wouldn't he think somebody could be coming after him? Because Eventually well, they would. There was um, they, they talked about how he was on the phone with one of his buddies and he said that he was on the phone with his buddy and he told his buddy, Hey, hold on, somebody's at the door and that he heard like a struggle and then the phone cut off. Hmm. So there's there's things like that, that that don't make that it seems like really, really fucking sketchy. I mean unless like um I don't know about what he heard, but like have you have you seen the movie um with um Will Smith about uh about concussions, I can't remember what the name. I think I think that's the name of the movie. Yeah, it's called it's called concussion. Yeah, I know what you're talking how, about. Yeah. How 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 that shit affects them, and then they make they end up like committed suicide. Like a lot of these parents commit suicide when that. Yeah, CTE Maybe, causes them to go nuts. But yeah, I, I have a question first and foremost before we move away from Chris Benoit. Did mm. he happen to know Hillary and Bill Clinton? <laughs> sure, you never know, man. Probably yeah. <laughs> he probably had his her emails and shit. Because it sounds like a lot of the people the way they pass away yeah. <laughs> that know connected. those guys. They're connected, bro. Yeah, they might man, be connected. That's probably why they took the phones and shut them right away. Because he had, uh, he had uh, the emails from Hillary. He had a, uh, he had a, um, um, uh, what's it called, Monica Lewinsky on on MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> he had all the evidence. Yeah, all the, all the proof. Yeah, nah, man. That's one of those situations where there was this one guy who was. Found like two uh, two miles from his house, hung and shot in the chest, and it was a suicide or some trash like that. And yeah. He was like, he was like related to the uh, in some way or form or fashion to Hillary and and, and Bill Clinton. Yeah, um, those bastards. Man, they're taking people out, dude. One, left and they, right. They've been clinticized. Clinticized. <laughs> no shit, man. It's just insane. But um, <clears throat> yeah, man. The, the, with Chris Benoit and and back to your movie concussions. I mean, it's quite possible, you know, when you when you mix roid rage with CTE that uh, roids and CTE and probably any other performance enhancing drugs that are being abused to a certain extent. Yeah. And it's only like logical to, to think that maybe he potentially did lose it and go out there and do something completely horrible to his family. Um, but, yeah, man, the there are some people that have gone out there. I mean, well, shit, wasn't that guy Jesse Smollett? Um, <laughs> remember, he was saying, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to kill myself. Mm -hmm. Clearly, he wanted to kill himself. <laughs> and so, I well, mean, like, I told him, like, don't beat yourself over it, bro. No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that guy, oh my God, that whole situation, everybody that knew from the jump that that was bullshit. 
dude, from the beginning, they already had ev- all the evidence to prove it that the shit was all a hoax. Mm-hmm. And they still went through the whole trial, man. Like he could have easily said, "I plead guilty to a certain amount or whatever," but like he actually was like he thought he was fucking innocent. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how that plays out. He, he was trying to play the uh, the race card. He thought that you know, mm-hmm. as long as he was a uh, a minority man and and claiming uh, a racial oppression of some sort, that he would be found to be the victim. Yeah, and nobody nobody's gonna find the offender or an accuser in a victim and and the thing is he's not a victim he's just he wants to be you yeah. know he had before the whole situation that happened there with his so-called getting beat up yeah. he had sent himself letters to his show with racial and homophobic slurs on there oh, yeah, just yeah. cause attention and cause this shit. and when he didn't get the attention that he wanted that's why he did the shit that he did well that's what you call narcissism shit, man. Oh yeah, dude, that guy's fucking lost it, dude, and yeah. he's so full of himself. He thinks that he's in the right. And it's yeah, insane. well, that, that, he was playing fucking Uno when the court was playing fucking Battleship and shit. Man. Mm-hmm. Whole different <laughs> fucking game. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Well, he got what he deserves. Um, yeah. You know, it is what it is. I, I think he's appealing it, and this is in the third, which he has his right to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, he's been humiliated. He's been found out in the in the court of public opinions mm-hmm. and things of that nature as being a uh, a liar and a and a um, like a victim user, so to speak. Yeah. And so, you know, his credibility is shot. I hope he doesn't get um, another fucking job in, in Hollywood. But knowing Hollywood, they'll probably make a movie out of this situation. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I mean, look what they did with uh, Colin Kaepernick. What's it? Kaepernick? Or what the fuck is it? Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick. There you go. Yeah, look, he got a series on fucking. I mean, he got a. What, is it a series or movie on on Netflix and shit? Well, that guy's I, been acting since he was in the NFL. Like I could have. <laughs> I could. I only stomached. <laughs> I only stomached like ten minutes of it. And I was like, I'm out. Later. So. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. yeah. Man. That's crazy. But, man. but that guy too. That guy is a. He's a piece of work, man. That dude was one, he was like raised by white folks. He was adopted, and yeah. his parents are white. And two, the only reason he started doing this bull crap had nothing to do with, with, with oppression or anything like that. The guy was uh, upset because he was a backup quarterback. He was put, he was taken out. He, he, it'd be one thing if he was doing it while he was a starting quarterback on the team. And, and all this other stuff and was trying to deliver a message. But it wasn't until he was uh, he was irrelevant. It wasn't until nobody knew anything about him anymore. It wasn't until he was already yanked as a starting quarterback that yeah. he started to to kneel for the anthem. And even at that, it wasn't until he was asked about it and it was noticed by the media weeks later. You know, yeah. if you, you would think that if you were trying to send out a message or you had a message to give, you would have that message delivered in a clearer format somewhere else. Like, for instance, you would think he would have gone to Twitter, to IG, to Facebook and say, I'm kneeling today because of this and this, this and that. He didn't do that shit. It didn't happen until after the fact, until after somebody noticed him not, and he wasn't even kneeling. He wasn't doing anything. He was sitting down on the bench. And um, it wasn't until somebody noticed it and said, hey, you know, you're being disrespectful about this. And then he started to make this notion about equality and injustice and yada yada yada, and so yeah, well, he's, push, he's just pushing for more what uh, uh, equal not equal opportunities but equal equality of outcome and shit. That's well, what it. he what he claimed was he he is saying that the police system was um, was uh, unfair to minorities and that there was some unjust stuff that has gone out there. Yeah, so yeah, like the. Um, and this is before George Floyd and all that other stuff. But yeah. a lot of folks started to say after George Floyd that that's what Colin Kaepernick was, you know, kneeling for and doing things was was for the type of actions that occurred when it came to George Floyd, which, you know, in my opinion, yeah, but, that was a crazy situation on its own. But like, doesn't it go out the window when he's trying to get back into the NFL? You would think because he made several agreements to get back into the NFL that he wouldn't do the crap that he was doing. And if he felt that he was that strong about it, you wouldn't say, no, man, that's what I feel. That's my right to do as I please. I'm not going to not be a problem or yada, yada, yada. And, you know, because he has his right. He has a right to kneel or sit or do whatever he wants. And so do these other players. 
I just find it disrespectful. And then I find it once you get found out to be doing it and, and you're trying to make an excuse for doing it. Because like I said, prior to him getting caught about doing it, he didn't come out saying, hey, you know what? This is what's going on. He didn't he didn't start any organizations. He didn't show up to any charities. He wasn't marching down any streets. He wasn't doing jack shit. He was taking a seat during the anthem. And, and, he, was nobody, getting paid. and he was getting paid. And it wasn't until somebody mentioned it. And that's when he started saying, you know, somebody told him to, to kneel versus sit, that that'd be more respectful. And, and, you know, that's his right and his prerogative. If he wants to do it, whatever the case may be, I just don't like the fact that he tried to make this into some big old publicity stunt. That is a, a civil rights activist movement, but yeah. that's not what it was. And, and it clearly wasn't not until after the fact. And the thing is to, the, you know, I don't know about now because I don't follow him. You know what I'm okay. saying? I don't follow the bullshit that he comes out with or anything like that. Yeah. But when I when he was a member of the NFL and he was a player out there, mm -hmm. he wasn't coming out on any activist protests or or charities or giving up any of the money that he was making for mm -hmm. anybody that was a victim of real police violence or whatever the case may be. And so yeah. I just found him to be a fraud and using the system, uh, yeah. in my opinion. You know what? I, you know, going back to uh, Smollett. I, I didn't like the fact that as soon as it came out, nobody nobody decided, hey, we should investigate this before we come out, <laughs> like supporting this actor, like go, for him going through all this stuff, you know what I mean? And nobody like nobody investigated that. And everybody just came out and said, hey, this is what happened. And that's the truth. And then when it comes out that it wasn't the truth, like all the, all the evidence against them, they don't want to even like take responsibility, like accountability for it. You know what I mean? But uh, that's... That's the mainstream media. That yeah, yeah. Is the, the the Hollywood or whatever you want to call it. Usually, the way that is. I mean, look at Cal Rittenhouse. That mm -hmm. guy, you know, shot somebody in self defense. And for the longest time, the mainstream media didn't even clear up the fact that the person that was killed wasn't black. They were all white. They were all white. But you know, the, for the longest time. Yeah, the yeah. mainstream media made it appear that it was a uh, an attack from a white guy onto a black people. Dude, right? And, dude, and that wasn't even the freaking case. I know. Even at the at the trial outside, they were protesting, and they still thought the victims or the the people he shot were black, and they weren't. Yeah, That's the crazy. one that the one that went up to him and told him to shoot him was a child molester. And yeah. and was provoking the situation. And apparently, from what I understand, I think the Britain House got shot at first. You know, everything that he did was in in self-defense. And yeah. it's just crazy because he, he was a young guy. You know what I'm saying? He was a kid. In my yeah. opinion, he's a kid because of his age compared to us. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it was under the age of being an adult in the state that he was at. And the that guy and that kid didn't even get the benefit of the doubt compared to you have a guy who is a uh, who has a criminal record, criminal history, is, mm -hmm. a, is a child of uh, sexual predator, yeah. and um, there's evidence and video showing that this guy acted in self defense, and yet the you know I, I the prosecutors and the law enforcement agencies tried this kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That kind of tells you, in my opinion, that the law enforcement agency in that county and the prosecutors and all that other stuff. They weren't doing this because of what is right or wrong. They weren't following the letter of the law. They yeah. were trying to make some kind of radical, um, uh, you know, they racial wanted cater, thing. About they this. wanted to cater for the like their ideology that they had around, going on at the time. Yeah, and yeah. And it, it's actually a, a really good video if you look it up. Uh, and it shows when it happens, man. But they, the guy's got something in his hand, I think, and he approaches him, and, I, and then you just. Don't yeah. fire him. I believe it was a gun. He had a gun. Yeah. Yeah. But like, even the, even the, like, it's crazy. Like I said, like in the small um, part where I said that they just automatically thought he was a victim. They automatically thought Kyle Ray House was a murderer without any evidence whatsoever exactly. at the time. At the time. And what's it called? Even the president and the vice president came out and said it. And that was crazy. I mean, they're still saying it today. I think I think they had a, 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 a an order uh, to the View. I think they had to do a uh, the View had to do a, a, a what's it called a, an apology because they were calling him still a murderer. 
Well, I think the kids sued the shit out of CNN, right? Yeah, they had so. they had like a cease and desist order on her on them. Yeah, and it's like you know, right for them, dude. Because at the end of the day, these people are supposed to be journalists. They're not supposed to have a side, whether it's right or left or yeah. or blue or red. They're supposed to report the news, report what mm-hmm. is re- what is happening. I, I can't watch the view, man. I, I just I just can't, you know. Uh, yeah, man, no. I see the clips where man. I've seen clips on that man, man. That shit, that shit's crazy, man. Like to think that those people have this platform to get to other. Like I don't know how many millions of people they get to, but I mean, like, and their rhetoric is to make, um, you know, more, more, more than likely conservatives look bad, you know, or or make it seem like a self defense case is not a self-defense case, but uh, he went out there and started committing a, an active shooter kind of thing. You know what I mean? Even, even like as a, uh, even as like on one of the shows that I saw, it was Whoopi, man. Like she, I think it was Ben Carson who was on there, right? And she don't like him. And she makes it known that she don't like him. And it's just like, dude, it's kind of weird. Like, you know, you're trying to watch a show. You gotta be professional. Yeah, and yeah, like that's why after that I was like, nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna watch the show, dude. I'm I'm not a I'm like I don't believe in cancel culture. I don't think that should exist. But if if I was to advocate for it, I would advocate for that. <laughs> for the view, I mean, the view is just. I mean, the, the only thing is that they pander to the the left. You know, yeah. If 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 there was a show that did the same amount of rhetoric in the opposite direction for the right jesus christ i mean that they would have been canceled you know before the first episode aired yeah you know what i'm saying it's just because of the way they pander towards and whatnot it it just makes it completely like horrible in my opinion and i mean how how many times how many times did they try to like ban um steven crowder or or shapiro or you know um it's the uh, what's his name? Um, what's the hell's his name? I can't remember his name. Or um, Candace Owens. I mean, they try to cancel her all the time too. Yeah, and the Hodge twins. I mean, there's a lot of guys that that they they if they don't align with them or they you know align with their thoughts or or beliefs as far as the uh, mainstream media goes, they're going to try to cancel whoever it is. It doesn't matter, you know, what nationality you are, what race you are, what whatever it is. If you don't yeah. align with their beliefs politically, psh, you're gone. And so it's it shouldn't be those like, things. It shouldn't be like that. Everybody should have any an opportunity to express their opinions yeah. and, 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 and whatnot freely. And that's why, you know, this country is supposed to be the land of the free. Yeah. And, and it's just one of those situations where, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine who had worked in um, Korea and mm-hmm. I was talking to him. I was like, Hey, you know what? Um, and this is back when Trump was still president. And I was like, so what does Korea think about, you know, President Trump? And he's like, you know, uh, there's not really much out there about President Trump or anything because everything's so censored. You know, if you were to try to talk about anything outside of what they want you to follow, you get censored, you get shut down. Um, You know, you get red flagged. They won't allow you to speak. They'll put you in what would be equivalent to Facebook jail. And I started thinking to myself, what the fuck is different between that and what we're going through here? You know what I mean? Yeah, Over exactly. there, they, they could take your probably your freedoms away and put you in jail. And so yeah. you go to jail there. But here you get suppressed. You get your voice suppressed. You get your censored. You get censored. You get, yeah. um, you know, if you have a channel, you know, on YouTube or on other ch- uh, on the shows that don't align with a certain direction, they won't be put out there. And so yeah. it's just one of those things where you got to pay to play, so to speak. And uh, I don't know, man, I don't like it. Uh, but it is what it is, and um, it, I'm gonna just keep calling it out as I see it, so to speak. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yep, that's yep, all yep. we can do is just call it out when you see it, call it out, and say, Hey, you know what? This is what's going on, this is the real truth behind this situation, versus what maybe perhaps the exaggerated truth that the mainstream media may want to push out there. Because I yeah. think if you go and look at, at, at views and viewership, and you look at CNN, you look at even Fox News, you look at all these different mainstream media and the views that they get in from from televised viewership, it's yeah. down and it's going oh, yeah. down. And and what's going up are are, are are groups like like Crowder, 
um, you know, Shapiro, uh, Hodge Twins, things like that. Wire. Daily Wire that are going up in viewership because they have become more of real media, real news because it's, you know, it might be a little bit more biased or whatnot towards the right. Yeah. But one thing is that they play within the rules. They're not going to come out and exaggerate a topic for the opposite direction just because it fits their agenda, so to speak. Yeah. You know, they play within a certain rules and a certain diaphragm and and still put out when shit happens. Because I remember Ben Shapiro, he was one of the biggest, toughest, you know, critics on on, on, on President Trump. So it wasn't yeah. like like these guys were on their jock just because they were fucking representatives of the red side. You know what I'm saying? It's not like how you see it on the blue side where they're like, vote blue no matter who. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. Let's just get on that situation. That's not like that on the on the opposite end. It's more. Wait, can I say something before you go? Uh, yeah, go not, ahead. Not, not our blue. We're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, not, not this blue. Not you can vote for this guy. <laughs> He's more purple. He's more purple. Yeah. <laughs> He's a blurple. He's a blurple. But, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, yeah, but I understand how what you mean and shit. Like, like, have you seen the the Young Turks? Oh, fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah, see exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, those people are the ones, and you know, they have a lot of followers, like a lot of followers. Like, I don't know how but they do, but that shit is crazy. What the, the shit they say, man. Like, well, half of America voted this president in. <laughs> it is what it is. Crazy, so. man. Like, it's hard to believe that that kind of like, like, um, show. Like the young Turks have that backing from from a, a big ass media for like they, I think they backed them up with like two billion dollars or some shit like that. Yeah, no, that shit's crazy. I, I'll tell you my first my first experience and my last experience with the young Turks when I decided this is bullshit. Um, <laughs> there was a, uh, a a kid who had gotten shot by uh, by police and he was supposedly unarmed so and good. he was in, in in the back of his he was in his grandma's backyard and the way the mainstream media was putting it out there was that police shoot unarmed black man in his grandma's backyard barbecuing yeah. right and <laughs> that's not what the fucking shit happened what happened was this kid had like a um, uh like a like a pry bar or, or some bullshit right <laughs> and he was he was going around the neighborhood and breaking into cars and breaking windows and somebody called the police because they saw somebody with a weapon and yeah. Pornhub is definitely going to get a lot more viewership <laughs> and um and um, what ended up happening is when the police found him, they chased him. He ran back to his grandma's house. Yeah. Now, when he was back there, they told him to put his hands up. And instead, he put his hands in his pocket to try to reach a phone to record the situation. And they yeah. lit him up. But when you look at the uh, the call that came in that night, it's dark. It's a night. Somebody's breaking into um, vehicles and or houses at night with a weapon in their hand, regardless of that weapon is a gun a pry bar, a baseball bat, a blunt force object. It's still a weapon. And the police officers are trained that they're going to go home at the end of the day. And yep. what pissed me off about the Young Turks was they literally said that the, a police officer should have to get shot first before they shoot back. Not so much be shot at, but literally yeah. be hit mm -hmm. because a police officer signs up for, um, you know, for that to potentially happen because they, they make an oath and that oath, they understand that their life can be taken. Well, you know what, yeah. motherfucker? So does that criminal when he decides to go break in into a car. So yeah. does that criminal when he decides exactly. to break the law and go try to violate somebody else's rights. They take that same oath that, hey, they they understand the uh, consequences behind it. That's just my opinion. You know, if somebody's yeah. going to go in and break into somebody else's house, they need to understand that the consequences, they're going to get a gun to their face, whether it's from the police department or that homeowner. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. they're taking a risk that, hey, they might get away with whatever it is that they steal and they might get shot in the face. Those are the couple of things that are the risk when when you decide to go and, and do those type of actions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and definitely. So, you know, that's just my my opinions. And, you know, um, I, I feel the same way, especially when like somebody like like when they're like, oh, if a, if a, if, a, if a thief comes into your house, you're going to end up shooting like you're 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 your items in your house are more are worth more than his life it was like apparently they're worth more than his life too because he came in my damn house <laughs> no shit he chose to come in it weren't <laughs> yeah. i believe i believe you forfeit your will to live at that point 
it's a risk consequence situation. I mean, you go to the you go to the fucking casino and you bet your life savings and you lose. Nobody's there to comfort you about that shit. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? The only thing mm -hmm. is you're going into a house betting a lot more for a lot less, in my yeah. opinion. And when you when, when reality slaps you in the face and you get fucking put in a situation where, you know, time to go, you know, that's your choice and your consequence that you made when you decided to do those those things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's just my opinion on it. I feel I, I have a strong opinion towards that. I just did feel I, that. Did I send you all that video the other day, the one about the guy um, breaking into the vape shop? Oh, yeah. and then they stabbed the shit out of the dude? Yeah. yeah. Did he kill him? Did they kill him? I, I don't know, man. I haven't seen it, but the guy's like, I'm dead, I'm dead. And like, yeah, he just well, they out. stabbed him in the neck. Yeah, man. He's not dead if he's still talking. Well. <laughs> George Floyd was talking for a while, and then oh yeah, yeah, well, too soon. The, yeah, too soon. Um, <laughs> no, but like I, remember, I, I know what you're talking about when when you told me about the how they made the victim look like that he just got murdered by the cops because they also didn't that happen with the the cop that shot that girl that was gonna like, stab another girl there. Remember that they were trying to like villainize the the cop for shooting her before she could. She was able to stab another girl. Yeah, remember, remember yeah. that? I remember yeah, that was. They were like, "How do you know she was going to kill her?" I was like, "Dude, she had a knife in her hand, running towards her with, with her the intent to stab her." So the, the, there's so much, man. That 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 like for instance, there was that Brianna Brianna something Sanders? or another. Yeah, that one was a situation where they the the fucking news was like, "Oh, this paramedic." off duty while at home they bum rushed her and shot her up right that's yeah. fucking far from the truth she yep. uh she had won she'd been fired from her job and i think it had to do with like some crazy shit that she was doing while on the job she, she was two, um, she was um smuggling drugs in that's what i thought to her boyfriend in jail supposedly yeah that's what i thought and then two the guy that she was with was a, a drug smuggler and they had a warrant they entered mm -hmm. and then these people shot the police at the police first brianna I'm not sure if she did, but her boyfriend, who she was standing next to, did. Yeah. And they returned fire on them, and she happens to be the one that gets hit. I think the it's guy actually stood be I think he stood behind her. You know, that yeah. dude is the one that needs to fucking go to jail for the rest of his life and yada yada yada. Well, the police the, officers that did yeah, that. exactly. Like there's there's a conspiracy theory that on that one I was listening to a show. They're saying that one of the detectives snuck around the corner and shot to the back window. That way they can make it seem like they were shooting at them. So it's like, what the hell? Like, oh, if, if there ain't no video, it never happens. You know what I mean? If there ain't no witnesses, it never happens. So. Yeah, that's 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 outlandish. I think yeah. that the guy, the, the 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 boyfriend, had admitted to to shooting rounds first. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think it, it, like it came out like that because it was supposedly it was supposed to be in, uh, no knock order, but they right. ended mm -hmm. up knocking. <laughs> right, they yeah. knocked on the door, and that's what ended up grabbing their attention, and they grabbed a gun and fucking shot at them first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, sir. Oh man, but it, it's one of those situations where you know, go back to the beginning. This dude was, you know, doing some shit with drugs and selling drugs and, and yada yada yada, and put himself in a position to be raided by the police. She, she, her actions also were the, you know, she, her name was maybe not so much on the warrant, but they were following her for a reason. And so, you know, it's one of those type of situations where it's like the media just kind of portrays one view on one side, as long as it falls in line with their agenda, so to speak. Yeah. And I, for one, can't stand that shit, man. It's, um, it's annoying, dude. It really is because, uh, yeah, it is. Well, what do you got to say, Blue? I mean, I, 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 that's why I don't watch the news too much, man. It just it's too um, biased, I guess. So I only watch the news for two things: it's the weather and traffic. That's all I and watch it for. And they're usually wrong on both too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh man, it was supposed to fucking rain all day today. It hasn't dropped it. Drop out of here. <laughs> nope. yeah, oh, it rained uh, rain, rain last night over here. Well, yesterday. Did but it? Like, yeah, but it, it felt like like 
God spit on us a little bit. He's like, ah, that's enough. Fuck it. Yeah, because he's like, the lake doesn't need no water. When yeah, we don't need this. Get damn water. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told Brittany when we walked out, I was like, she's like, because we went to go drop off my kid earlier, and she was like, look, it's going to rain. I was like, nah, it's fucking Biden teasing us. He knows he doesn't <laughs> want to give a... <laughs> he controls the, the the government controls the weather. I'm saying it right now. They control the weather. And there's <laughs> reasons why Texas hasn't gotten much rain. <laughs> right, man. It's pretty bad this year. It's pretty fucking bad. I'll tell you oh, that. Yeah. It's yeah, been bad, man. I saw a picture of Medina Lake, and man, it's low, man. So Falcon yeah. Lake is gone too, man. So don't you mean like Medina Grove, where? <laughs> <laughs> Medina Field, I think that's what it's called now. <laughs> no nah, man, but we need some rain ASAP, man. No. Yeah, you, man. yeah, dude. You know, you know where it rained a lot. Where it rained? Uh, uh, it rained a lot on fucking Alex Jones, man. Oh shit! Yeah, it did, dude. That guy, well, he's he's making it rain on a few people right now. Didn't they make him pay up like almost fifty million dollars to 50, the victims? Fifty-four, man. Fifty-four mil. Damn. Damn. Here's here's why I don't like that because he has an opinion. This is supposed to be America where you have your freedom of what you can have an opinion in yeah. your speech, and yet he's being sued for having an opinion. I think they're, you know, he, I think he's being sued for defamation. I don't know about his opinion. Well, yeah, but but his opinion is that it was a hoax, right? Yeah, now, that's that's what supposedly he says it is allegedly. Right, right. He's he's claiming it's a hoax. I don't believe it is, and, and there's been evidence to prove that yeah. Sandy Hook wasn't a hoax. But, but it was real sketchy, though. You got, you got to admit, there was real there, fucking sketchy. There, there was some sketchiness about it, and it, it maybe not so much because of the parents of the people that were involved, but yeah, more yeah. so, again, the, most, the the mainstream media was pushing an agenda of no guns and shit like that. And yeah, so yeah. when they push the agenda and they exaggerate the truth, it makes things seem kind of like, all right, if you're lying about this or you're exaggerating this, what else are you lying and exaggerating about? And Alex Jones found himself in a in between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm not very familiar with what exactly he did outside of talk about it on his show. I think yeah. the nail in the coffin for him was he kept saying that he, he never talked about it in his personal life. You know, he just talked about it on the show. And his lawyers gave the other lawyers a packet of all his text messages, and it was in there. That was the nail. So what? Like, if I talk to you about Sandy Hook, and me and you have a conversation about it, and if my opinion is it wasn't real, yeah, how the fuck does that affect anybody else? Exactly. Not only that, but I mean, like, well, he was doing some other stuff too. I'm guessing because they can't just get him on that. Um, I mean, there was another, there was another dude too that was always questioning the, the Sandy Hook and the one that happened here at the church. Remember? Yeah. Um, he was pro not processing, but he was always um there and asking for evidence that these people actually got killed and whatnot. Because um, like according to the people at Sandy Hook, um, I mean, obviously they're not gonna let that information out because they're minors and shit. You know what I mean? Especially because of the right. family. But like a lot of the like conspiracy theories, um, they were saying that none of these kids actually like were hurt or killed, allegedly, right. according to to some people. No, and I get that. I mean, there's there's for instance, there's this whole video on on the nineteen. I think it was like an eighty seven or eighty six where they had the uh, um, that fucking spaceship the, that was going out in orbit, crack, um, blow up in space, the Voyager or whatever it was. Yeah. And there's like this whole fucking conspiracy that that was bullshit and that those people that were there and they have pictures and, and people's faces and stuff of real people that kind of look similar to the people that were involved um, yeah. on there. And they're trying to elude that that, you know, that was a conspiracy or it was fake or whatever. But don't you think that with this Alex Jones, doesn't that make it president for anybody who's wrong on something? Exactly. Sued now? You yeah, know what no, I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So now the same presidency or president of being able to sue somebody for what they air publicly on on a show, whether it's on YouTube or or his own private uh, Infowars website, because I think that's where majority of the shit went to. Yeah. Uh, then CNN, um, fucking ABC News, all these fucking mainstream media, then they need to be fucking held accountable as well. Oh, definitely, but that's not gonna happen. 
No, no. That's not I mean, it, it, it's I mean, ninety percent, ninety ninety percent of the media is left leaning. So, right. Yeah. No, it, it is true, and it's like one of those situations where you know one side can get severely punished while the other side gets away with it you know what i mean it's 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 not even a situation where like all right you know alex jones is getting a slap on the wrist for something that cnn and everybody else on the left side have done multiple times and over multiple years yeah um but for them to ridicule him and 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 completely because all right he was wrong on that one but there's a lot of things he's not wrong on and yet people have called him a crazy person or are unbelievable for many, many years. And yet you know, now he should have the president to go and sue all those other companies who have talked shit about him because when he was right, when he was right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty much like how the, like the media right now, it's just like it's like this It's like like the January 6th committee right now that was happening. OK, they're trying to get these people who did the insurrection. Right. And like put them in jail, but wait, what about all these goddamn fucking riots all year round? Like, where are all these they people? They were mostly like, peaceful, man. Like, what <laughs> happened to right, right? Like, what happened to like they were they were arrested and like literally let go hours later? Like that was. But you know, you know why, right? What, because sorrows? if they would have been charged, they wouldn't have been able to to vote. If they would have been charged or found guilty of some kind of felony arson, felony anything, then they wouldn't have the rights to vote anymore. No, that's so true. They they're not going to lose their voters. But it's like it, 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 you see where the where the bias is at exactly where it's at when you're pushing the the, the January six, but you're you're calling riots and then full fledged fires peaceful. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it just seems so un American to be honest with you. When you have something like one side completely trying to bash out the other side. And use such corrupt means to do so. It's it's just un-American, in my opinion. It feels yeah. like censorship. It feels like we're living under a range of, or like almost China or Korea. Maybe not to the extent where the punishment comes into play, where it's uh, uh, corporal punishment. But capitalism, man, living in capitalism. Well, I mean, in capitalism, uh, capitalism, in my opinion, works a little bit better than what we're at now. This is more of a movement to change towards, um, you know, one you know what do you call it what the left is trying to approve or to get where socialism socialism there you go that's what i was looking for it's more of a socialist communism type of uh, mm -hmm. reign that they're trying to get to but capitalism in my opinion it, you, you, you need oh go ahead a little i'm sorry bit of both you need a little bit of both you know a little bit of socialism mixed with some capitalism it can't be just one-sided you know what i mean yeah but yeah. But it's like they're trying to force this whole socialism marksmanship on everybody to the extreme. And that shit's never worked, period. In never. any situation. Exactly. And so why, why, why do they think they can still work here? Because you have people who are, that have this fantasy that think that they're going to be able to, you know, gather this lifestyle without having to work for it or bring other people down so that they don't have a lifestyle of succeeding themselves. Yeah. You know, one thing that I've noticed about the world, and I was actually having a conversation about this earlier because I was talking about, um, oh gosh, I can't remember what it was. Oh, some stem cells. I was actually having a conversation about stem cells and and, uh, and somebody go, well, what, if you, what if that's the work of the devil? And I was like, eh, ain't the work of the devil. I was like, a lot of people will say that for things that they don't understand things that are different or change and in my opinion a lot of people are just trying to bring people down or keep people in the same place so to speak mm -hmm. and so it's kind of falls in the same line as that is in my opinion but yeah um we'll see i mean it's just one of those things where i don't know man i i feel like the way the media is going and the mainstream media is going is just becoming un-american and you have no more rights the freedom of, of speech is going out the window. Um, freedoms of, of anything are going out the window. You know, the right to choose whether or not you, have, you want a vaccine. Uh, mm -hmm. All these things, man. If, 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 in my opinion, America's gone somewhere crazy. And, and I hope it goes back because it's I don't like the way it's going, in my opinion. Yeah, I think I think most of these people that, that they're fighting for for the leftist ideology, they they're more into 
um, how people feel, like how they feel about it, not about common sense. Like, oh, okay, this might work because so and so. They're just like, oh, I don't like that, so I'm not. I'm gonna tell everybody I don't like that, and not to vote for that or, or, or protest against this person or whatnot. And I think that's that's what's fucking shit up, man. Like, for for them to throw their 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 agenda out there against anybody who actually has you know wants to have this discussion about certain type of laws and whatnot. Okay. Right. It, and that's what it feels like that they're just they're just trying to make choices with their feelings not with their you know with their knowledge or, or your compassion or whatever you know what i'm saying yeah no for sure no and i agree man it's just but you know it's like this man when it comes to socialism or marksmanship or cap uh um what do you call it um communism if you want something given to you you want you want the house given given you want a house a place to live given to you you want you want the ability to go to college for free and not have to pay for it to be in debt afterwards. You want the ability to go to a doctor that you choose and, and, and not have to pay for your medical expenses. The United States has a program that offers those things, and it's called the United States military. You join the military, they'll give you every single one of those things. Now, I've talked to a few people and who've told me that they don't want their children to go into the military because they're afraid that they're going to go to war. Well, that, in my opinion, is the most arrogant, most childish thing to say is because they feel that the war is always something that the Americans are going to have to go to and they don't ever feel that the war is ever going to come to us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that's the life we live in this day anymore. I think that, um, you know, things are already happening in our country. Um, you know, we've had attacks on our country from, from other places on our country, in our yeah. land. And, you know, you have this stuff at the border where they're allowing so many people in, you know, it's just a matter of time. Every rain falls, whether it was the Romans, the Egyptians, the Greece, the Americans eventually will as well. But, you know, one way that's going to happen is by us, you know, tearing each other apart. And I think yeah. that that's kind of the way, you know, divide and conquer has been a, um, a war uh, method forever. And that's exactly what I feel like America is doing at this point. And it's, we're being divided this is definitely, in my opinion, what's happening. You know, the yeah. crazy thing about the other day was, you know how we've been shipping uh, the limo, illegal immigrants that want to go up north. We've been shipping them up there, right? Mm -hmm. And the other day, I remember a long time ago, the governor of New York was like, oh, Texas is whining. You know, they can't handle these people. Send them up here, blah, blah. Now that we're sending him, now he's crying. He's like, "Oh, I have no space for him. I, I don't have money. Yep. Biden's not getting money." It's like, "Well, I thought you wanted him." Yeah, you know, yes. why is it a problem. But when we give it to you and you wanted the problem, now you're crying. You know, because it's a big problem, man. It's not a small yep. problem. It's not like oh, 20 people came over. We can handle this 20 people. It's by the thousands. Yeah, exactly. You know, when there's a six month waiting list, up to a year waiting list to get an apartment here in San Antonio, where do you expect these people to live? You know? You know, there, there's so much government housing, it's gone already. There's no space. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous what these people think that we can try to do, you know? Yeah, I understand your country's having issues. Every country's having issues. Our country's having issues. I mean, some are worse than others. I mean, just look what happened last week or the beginning of this week in Ciudad Juarez. It was these people at a little Caesars just fucking buying pizza, man. And the cartel were having a little dispute and they shot up. I don't know. I think there's like 11 dead throughout the whole fucking week from them fighting. Like yeah. that one cartel. I think 10 were cartel. Like, so it was like 20 something, I think. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I mean, like, um, this video, man. This yeah, a poor just, lady, Laura, man. Like, and she's she's shot, and then you can tell the cops saying, "Hey, these two are wounded. They're alive, but there's four outside that are are dead." Yeah, you know. Yeah, like no, yeah, this, yeah. this. This past, I think, this past weekend, not this weekend, but last last weekend, there was a there was a a, a group. I think it was a five hundred people crossing over. Just one group, man. Five hundred people. Imagine that. That's crazy, That's man. That's insane, man. That is, that is insane. When was this happening back in the day? It's 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 super 
it was super it was it wasn't super uncommon but it was it wasn't as common as it is right now you know what i mean no nah, not at all man i mean it's just one of those things where once the um once trump said he wanted to put up a wall the opposite end of the well, had to do the opposite. No, that's opening it up. Even though if you look at past history from presidents previous to Trump, you look mm -hmm. at Obama, you look at Clinton, those guys were Democrats who believed in putting a wall on border security. It wasn't yep. until Trump said the same thing. Oh, mm -hmm. shit, we can't align on the same ideas as him. Fuck that. Let's leave everybody come in. Yeah. I'm and, a and it's insane, dude. Like, you can't, like, just because a person is on the opposite line of where you 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 align yourself with doesn't mean that they're wrong and you have to go 100 percent against them on every yeah. faction of, of everything and it's there's no give or take and, and it goes for both sides to be honest with you you yeah. know and, and i think that i said before is just leading up to a divide and conquer situation where you know all these people that are american citizens that are don't understand how privileged we are to be American citizens. Once a different faction comes in, and if we don't end up being victorious, like for instance, uh, I hear China is like putting testosterone into like their men to make them more manly versus, you know, the agenda here is to lower testosterone, to yeah. make men more feminine. You know, that's not going to bode well when we go to war with them if that ends up happening to them. You know, to yeah, her. Hell no. <laughs> so, hell no. You know, it's it's just look at this lady, this Brittany Griner or Garner, whatever her name is. That yeah, is out Russia? in Russia. Yeah, was smoking some marijuana vape pens. Knew that it was illegal there. Continued mm -hmm. to do it and felt that you know it's just marijuana or whatever the case may be. But now look at her; she's serving what nine years in a Russian prison. Uh, prison. Now yeah, that, uh, exactly. Biden's trying to trade over a uh, arsons dealer or some shit like that um for an arms dealer i'm sorry for, arms dealer. yeah you know for this person a real criminal for for this person who had no respect for our, our country kneeled on the flag didn't want to live in our country and, and goes and tries to live in a similar fashion or manner as if she was living in the united states still and yeah. now is finding out the harsh realities of what other countries are exactly. and there was this, there was this other couple that was like riding a bicycle through through um, through Europe and through um, Asia and all this other shit, and they want they believe that Al Qaeda and um, you know Al Qaeda were misunderstood and that they were good people showed up and got their heads cut off. Yeah. You know, it's 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 the world is a lot tougher and probably more dangerous than what. Oh, definitely uh, is, man. Americans are, because we, we live in a privileged place. It is what it is. You know what I mean? You but, go and look at other countries, they don't have to go through the shit we do. No, I mean, like, that kid, remember that? Uh, yeah, even that, even that, that kid, remember that one that uh, accidentally went into, like, North Korea or some shit? They gave him nine years for being a spy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Like, you walk by accident over there. Oh, well, well it's because... Like a lot of people here are saying, well, she shouldn't be in prison. Like, like, uh, what's her name? Um, Brittany Griner, Garner, whatever her name is. Yeah, she shouldn't be in prison because it was just THC or whatever weed or whatever it was, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, but the rules, I mean, the laws there are not anywhere near the well, the ones we have here in the states, man. Like, it's that's their shit, man. We can't do anything about it. It it's also illegal here. That's what I, that's what they don't get. Like, it's illegal in Texas. Yeah, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't have dab. My cousin went to jail for it for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, it's a, the, the vape form of THC, I think, is a felony in the state of Texas. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And so, like, if somebody were to have that in the state of Texas, they would go to jail for at least two to five years. Now, um, with, hey, what's up, Daddy Garza? Uh, there's so many Dannys in this motherfucker. Oh, so many Dannys. It's a it's a common name in Hispanic <laughs> culture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I the other day I was on TikTok and I said hi to somebody on the live stream, and yeah. they said, "Oh, I don't like you. Your 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 name's evil." I said, what <laughs> is Daniel? I said, it's from the Bible. <laughs> She's like, "No, oh, 
it, it, Daniel means demon or some shit. I was like, okay, I, I went to another live stream because. <laughs> <laughs> Should have reported them. Oh, yeah. um, but right, yeah, no, and and Minnie Mouse Miss says it's exactly correct. She says she needs to respect the laws in Russia. Leave her there. I agree. <laughs> I mean, she she definitely does, and maybe she'll have a better appreciation of what happens here. However, you know, if somebody were to violate the American laws and they were suspected of being a spy or they were from another country, I would anticipate them being dealt with a lot harsher than the yeah. American citizens, you know, violating the same rules. So why would we expect different from a different country? Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? It's just one of those things where like she's privileged. She thinks that she can get away with whatever she wants because she's someone who is a famous status and comes from a place where in America, they, they hold up their opinions and, and her opinions up because it's it's to the same uh, belief system as the mainstream media is. And so they make her seem like a, um, you know, somebody that she's not. She's just a person. And she went over there and violated some rules and laws. And, and that's what happens when you do that. You know, if we go to Mexico and we get drunk and do something stupid, we're going to find ourselves in jail and probably get our shit beat up because that's what that happens. Unless we yeah, pay. unless you pay, you know, some, <laughs> somebody should have told her to pay more. Yeah, right. Oh man, have I? Have, have y'all seen the movie Broken Down Palace? I haven't seen it. Have y'all? I I have actually. I have. It's uh, about two. I'm not really sure where it's at, but I know they're they're out and about abroad. Um, they take a trip out there, and then they, one of these people they meet a person, and that person puts drugs in their suitcases and they get busted and they have to spend 20 something years out there or something in a, in a foreign foreign um jail or prison it's pretty oh, it's yeah. pretty i haven't seen it in years man i ain't gonna lie i haven't seen it in years i couldn't tell you exactly all the details but i remember yeah. the, the pretty much the the, the main premises. point you know, the premises of it 1999 yeah. china yeah. china china in china yeah, I so, think that that's one of the. I, I, now that you mentioned, I think I do remember seeing this movie. Uh, but yeah, man, it's just one of those situations where you you know the rules and the laws. Like for instance, I had some friends of ours that um went to Mexico recently for a vacation, and when they landed, it was clearly stated drugs are still illegal here in Mexico. You cannot smoke this. Can't bring this across. Do not do drugs. And yada yada yada. Yeah. And so. Um, people just get the, ah, oh, you know what? It's a slap on the wrist here. It's going to be a slap on the wrist there. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's a slap reality more like it. And so, yeah. um, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where I feel for the lady because at the end of the day, it's not something that should be taking her life away for that many years, but you know, the consequences and you chose to go over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like, um, like for instance, it, it, she was forced to go work in Russia, and 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 forced to do drugs. Like she entered some kind of drug reign, and she was a, uh, you know, uh, one of these, you know, sex prostitutes that get caught up and forced to do yeah. drugs and forced to do these things. Now she did it out of her own will and judgment. Then you yeah. know consequences, and so there, that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. So, but you know. Um, if she does come back to the United States, I hope she has a better appreciation for the United States and for um, what the United States can offer her. But, uh, you know, I hope that I hope that changes her mind real quick. I do, too, man. I do, too, because, you know, the disrespect that is out there when it comes to like our, our flag and our anthem is it's it's insane. And, and, and if, if she were to done this like shit, she thinks nine years is bad. I would imagine if she were to go step on a Russian flag somewhere in Russia, yeah, I don't exactly. think she'd get just fucking nine years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or go burn a Russian flag in Russia. That shit doesn't yeah. fly there. Here you well, can I mean, get away with it, but she she went over there because they weren't paying her enough to play here. You know that, right? Yeah. Well, how much does she get paid? Let's let's find this out. Let's because I've heard that I've heard that that she went to Russia because she couldn't make enough here in the united states as a WNBA player let's look that she couldn't up. make it here in the united states playing for the what is it the so, WNBA? in 2020 oh. reiner signed a three-year 664 000 contract extension with phoenix 
that she had already made money on. So she made an additional almost 225, about a quarter million dollars in one season. So she makes about a quarter million dollars a season. That's what I'm making a week. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't have, she she was forcibly made to go to Russia, right? Because a quarter million dollars a year is not enough money to survive. Damn. I could survive on 25 bucks, man. That is the most dumbest argument (laughs) I have ever heard that she was in Russia because she wasn't making enough money as a WNBA player. And that's not including any fucking um, uh, uh, like commercial deals or any of those shit advertising. That's yeah. just strictly her salary for playing a game. Man, how much, how much are they make? Is she making in Russia? That's my question. Because I, I have a friend that loves uh, WNBA, and she goes to a lot of games. And there's a, there's there's a difference. I mean, like she made a quarter million dollars when she she if she's like Kobe. Kobe made you know millions. So, so you know there is a difference. There's yeah, a big difference. There is a big difference. She goes, it's it's four times as much. So while playing in America, she'd only make 227 uh, uh, quarter million dollars a year. In Russia, she would be making a million dollars a year. Isn't that four times the annual salary enough to follow their rules and guidelines? <laughs> yeah, would be. I mean, I'll, fuck, dude. dude. I, like, I ain't going to lie, but for 20 bucks, I'll do a lot of sketchy shit. <laughs> and for and I guarantee you, for sixty bucks, you would probably stop doing those sketchy things. <laughs> <laughs> Not so, gay, but <laughs> the sixty bucks is sixty bucks. Sixty bucks is sixty bucks. Hey, Danny, I found somebody else you can whip. <laughs> right, hey, <laughs> hey man. What's it called? Blue's been waiting for somebody else to get whipped. I know, man. <laughs> Shit. It's like somebody else has to fall into that trap. Um, <laughs> but, but you know, I get it. I understand. Okay, so they get paid more over there. Um, fuck, dude. That's why people get paid more in America and fucking the, the Mexican folks keep coming over here to work. Yep, right? exactly. and, and when they get fucking caught, what happens? They go through the process of the judicial system. Yeah. When, if they do something wrong, they go through the judicial system as well. You know, if you come over here working on a work visa and you go and violate the rules of the government, you get kicked back and or go to jail, too. Yeah, yeah. like I think in, in the U.S. they're illegal or they're not illegal. She's there in a visa. Yeah. Um, if it's a misdemeanor, they just get their visa taken away and deported. But if it's a felony, they serve time, you know, and then they, and get, then they get deported. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, she made a million dollars in with. You know, I don't know how long. I think she played there since 2020. So she's yeah. made probably about two, three million dollars. It'll be there nine years when she gets out. <laughs> well, wasn't she right? Exactly. But wasn't she like pushing like the fact that uh, not the fact, but was she she pushing the the uh, the idea that supposedly the United States of America is like a racist country and shit like that? It wasn't so much racist. I think she was pushing more of the sexist type of situation where oh. because she's a female, she doesn't get paid as much as the men do. And this is in the third and, I, would, I would like to see her against LeBron and see what happens. Well, I mean, it's not even just that. It's just like, all right, if you want to get paid like those people, then perform like them. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to be an actor and my first role or fifth role isn't paying me what Tom Cruise got paid in fucking Top Gun Maverick, then I got to be better at my profession so that I can be Tom Cruise in the next Maverick. You get what I'm saying? The thing yeah, but is, that's, that's called star power. That's why. The thing is, it's like this, uh, and I see it in in most sports where like they want more. They, the reason they don't have they don't have the same following, they don't have the same fans because there's a lot of women that don't like basketball. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's a sports. I believe, I don't know. I feel like sports is more like men kind of like push like the the excitement for it you know what i mean like for the the teams and stuff i don't well, think sports there's there's not as much um maybe there's not as enough promoting or maybe not uh, as big of a following but a the following. thing is the like the nba it wasn't profitable in the beginning it took years to get there and i think it's gonna be the same thing with women's basketball it's gonna take a lot more years to get there they have to have some stars come up and you know 
I think I've seen a few games when I would get free tickets to go here to see the stars when they were here. I think one time I saw a dunk. One time out of the <laughs> three games that I went. I mean, you go to an NBA game, they're dunking, man. They're fucking stealing. They're, I'll, it, I'll tell you one the, thing. The only way I'm, I'm going to be huh, I'm probably going to get hate for this, but the only way the WNBA is going to get uh, more following is uh, if it's LeBron turns into LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's the only way. I agree. There's gonna be there's gonna have to be some type of big situation, but you know, Blue is right. The the WNBA has to have its progression. It has to grow into the following that it has. It has yeah. to create some type of drama. There has to be a reason for people to go back. There has to be a, a huge basketball player in the WNBA that make people want to go watch it. And then it also has to be competitive enough to people want to bet on it. If people mm-hmm. don't want to bet on it, there's no gambling involved. The sport's gonna be dead. Plain and simple. It doesn't matter what sport it is. And yeah. so, um, you know, in my opinion, in, in, and Blue's right, there's not very many women that want to watch basketball. You know, why is it up to the men? You know, I think it was Bill Burr who said it. Why is it up to the men, uh, up to men to go watch women's basketball? You know, yeah. leave it up to the women. There are just as many women out there in the United States as there are men. Women can go and watch the WNBA, can raise up the rates, raise up the value, raise up the profitability from commercials and advertising that's going to allow these players to get paid what they rightfully deserve. But without any of those things happening, there isn't going to be a following. Nobody's going to give two shits about it. Nobody's going to bet on it. So then, you know, it is what it is. But the excuse that, you know, I don't make enough money here, that's bullshit. You know, now I can, I'm going to, I'm going to, I can, I can kind of understand, well, I get paid more there. Okay, I get it. But don't come at don't come at the American people with you can't fucking survive on a quarter million dollars a year with <laughs> fucking people living on the streets. That's yeah. bullshit. And that's what pisses people off. And that's probably what turns people away from the WNBA, from women's sports in general like this, because if this is the type of shit that they're saying, and the American people know that this is bullshit. And so yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, I just think it's you know, it's just trying to force something down the American people's throats. And I, for one, don't like it. Yeah, and it's, and it's a big difference in price, man. Because I know when I go see a Spurs game, a, a, a $40 ticket's in the fucking nosebleeds. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you go, when the when the Stars were here, a $40 ticket was like. You were playing this shit? One hundred, bro. Like, it was cheap. It was cheap. You see Blue out there for 40 bucks. He's playing with, he's in the locker room. Shit. <laughs> and and uh, uh, you just trying to put out there Becky Hammond is beast. I seen Becky Hammond play and she was beast. She was one of their best players, man. Dude, I don't beast. even like basketball, man. Like, to be honest, but like, I can name you like five fucking players from basketball. I can never uh, from the NBA, but not from the WNBA. I don't know who the hell they are. No, nah, I mean, there's, but the thing is, too, like, it's supply and demand. You know, Blue's saying that the cost to go in there's cheap. The cost yeah. to go in there's cheap because nobody's fighting for anything else to go in there. If if there was sold out arenas for games, then the cost per seats would go up. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Yeah. And so it's just one of those types of situations. I mean, the XFL didn't work. The uh, USFL hasn't worked yet. And the reason being is because the performance on the field isn't quite up to the bar when it comes to the NFL. It mm-hmm. has nothing to do with those are all men. Those are men. Those are boys. Those are they're, they're Hispanic. They're white. They're black. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. XFL are former NBA play, NFL players. And yet it has not gotten kicked off the ground because of the performance that's on the field. It's just not up to par. Yeah. You know, people want to pay for good entertainment. At the end of the day, that's what it is. Now, if they had some kind of gimmick put in there where, you know, there's fights or something, maybe people will watch it. But you yeah, know, <laughs> that's what the yeah, XFL has had to do. They had to turn yeah. to some gimmicks. You know, they yeah. had some weird shit that has happened during the game and weird rules to get people intrigued and to watch it because it's not the same as the NFL. Well, it's yeah. like uh, the Women's Football League, too. You know what I mean? I thought it was crazy that. I played football and I was fully padded, man. When you see these girls play, they're playing in fucking bikini shorts and sports bras. I was like, what the fuck? You know how, how much a helmet will hurt? You hit that shit on the in the chest and the belly and the arms, you get rashed. You know what I mean? So it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's 
but it's the gimmick. It has to be done because if not, if if they were fully padded, just girls playing out there, <laughs> throwing the ball kind of, you know, not as fast or as hard, it's just, it's not going to get the way it is. <laughs> For $40, you should get a free front row and a free hot dog. <laughs> it used to be LeBron's. Yeah. Right, I've gone up a little bit for now, but I don't. I had to look up and see how much a, a ticket for Seattle, the Seattle Stars, I think. But the, the season's already over. The season uh, just finished for the WNBA a couple weeks ago because my friend went to the finals. I didn't even know it started, bro. Much less that it finished. Yeah. <laughs> like, and there's nothing against it. I don't watch the NBA either. I I, I went to an NBA game um, just because we lived in San Antonio and uh, and we went got the opportunity to go see a Spurs game. I had no idea who any of those kids were on the field or on the, on the court. The uh, NBA allows like kids out of high school, so that's what you literally see out there: kids from high school playing. Yeah, and it's it's to me even that product has gone down. The NBA isn't what it used to be, and so. Uh, I'm not a fan of the NBA anymore. Uh, I haven't watched them for a very long time. And it has nothing to do with the politics or anything else that goes along with it. Well, maybe a little bit. But yeah. a lot of it also is just like, it's not, it's more, it's not just about the game anymore. You know, they've, they've, in, they've incorporated politics and a bunch of shit into the NBA that it just makes they it watch Yeah, they, it doesn't belong in there, man. Yeah, no, for it real, doesn't. man. I mean, it's 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 a, it's a shame because it was a popular sport and one of the most popular sports back when you know you had the likes of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, you know things of that nature, and and even a younger LeBron. But as LeBron James has gotten older, I think Ugh. his fan base has turned more into like the opposite opposition. I think Softies, there's more people man. that dislike him. Than, yeah, you know, and I don't know, man. I just I'm not a fan of. I used to be a fan of the Lakers until LeBron James went there. Yeah, Le That's LeBron cool. used to play hockey, man. See how he does with that shit. You know, I wish he would have been. He would have put on the pads and been in the NFL because that would have been. He was talking about joining the Cleveland Browns as a tight end or whatever. Yeah, it would have been Dude, fun he, to see him go against. He, he was on the. Right he now. was on the fucking floor for like 20 minutes, crying for when they poked his eye and shit, or he had a cramp and shit. Oh yeah, he had to get carried Imagine. out because he had a yeah. fucking muscle cramp. What a bitch. What a bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, but, so next week on our, our, our next week, our guest host will be LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> really? Imagine. I didn't know this. Yeah. Nobody told me this. <laughs> <laughs> Just forget everything I said. <laughs> uh, oh, oh well, that was funny. So we're getting a little bit long in the tooth, guys. We're going to do our rapid questions, and then we'll get on out of here. I apologize again for everybody who came in expecting to see uh, Jonathan Joss, a.k.a. John Redcorn. We had some difficulties, the schedule conflict, and he wasn't able to make it today. But before we let everybody go, we're going to do our lose wood fire rapid, rapid fire questions. Uh, wood fire questions, that is. You want fresh and hot pizza, San Antonio or Del Rio, Texas, hit up lose wood fire pizza. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, guys, because – I believe next week we're going to have a um, a promo code for subscribers of the Drunk Turkey Show for Lose Wood Fire Pizza, so you can get a discount there. It only goes to subscribers, so please hit that like and subscribe. So if you have any questions for myself, Jaime, or Blue, please put them into the uh, comment section right now as we'll be going into our Wood Fire questions. Um, oh. And I'll start, I'll start off with the first question, guys. Um, are you guys ready to make a movie? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, with well, CJ, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to talk to him. I still have yeah. hey, CJ. We we've been talking about this. We're thinking about you know bringing you on board and maybe perhaps perhaps uh, coming up with a movie. I've I've actually written a few uh, scripts in my oh. my life that might might work. I want to get your opinion on some stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, but if we were to come fun. out in a movie, what 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 would your favorite? Um, what would you like to be portrayed as? Like, for instance, I would, you know, I would like to be a, um, I don't know, somebody who's like a, an athlete, even though I don't have the physique for one. But if I could be in a movie and be a professional athlete in the movie, that'd be great. I don't think I'll pass it off. What about you, Jaime? What would you be? Um, uh, you you ever, you remember watching Tropic Thunder? Yes. I want to be uh, Simple Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but oh, that's what man. I want to be. Simple Jack. <laughs> oh man, dude, 
I just canceled. Saw Benjamin. Canceled. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go full. You cannot go full. What, what what about you, Blue? Where where do you where would you find yourself as if you were to be in the movie? I would be the hero. The hero. You'd be the hero. You yeah. wouldn't be the um the sexy co-host, the head co-star <laughs> that's bringing all the sex appeal into the movie. The well, that, that, that'd be that'd be that'd be the second part, but you know, it <laughs> <laughs> just comes natural. You know, what I mean, it just comes <laughs> so basically, he's saying he's gonna be James Bond. <laughs> so, but, but if I attract the BBW, is any of my fault? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that might be the title of the movie. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. This is, this is two BBWs and a lot of friction. <laughs> <laughs> Big blue and <laughs> Big blue. <laughs> <laughs> big um i don't know what the blue, w would say it's gonna be big blue blue balls <laughs> big, 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 that, that's triple b dude i would say i would say what the w is but this is a child-friendly show <laughs> <laughs> all right you know it. what I, I will keep it pg i'll be the drunk fisherman you know oh man uh, the, the only thing about the drunk fisherman is the drunk fisherman is always the guy that ends up you know godzilla comes out at or the or the UFO crashes right in front of. <laughs> it might be the best seat in town. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, but like, man. you know what? Thinking about it, you know what? I, I, I would like to be the unsus un was it unsuspected hero? I guess you know what I'm saying. Like, un, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Like, see, not for me, I would want to be the opposite of that. I want to be the unsuspected villain, the guy oh, that was trying to figure out who's did what, who did who, yeah, like the somehow, Riddler. The master man, yes, I would be the Riddler. I would be, <laughs> I would be, you know, the guy from from Seven. I would be, you know, so many different, probably evil people in the movies. I'm already thinking about my my options. It would be great. Oh, we got I, one. We, we got, got one. one. Yeah. We got a question. So, in honor of the guest who was supposed to be on, who is your favorite King of Hill character? All right, let's start off with you, Jaime. Oh man, it's gonna have to be Bobby, man. Bobby's the shit, bro. I, I was I was like eh, Hank, Bobby. Nah, I'll go with Bobby, man. That guy's fucking funny, especially when he takes that self defense class and shit. <laughs> that shit was hella hilarious. That's my I don't first. Know you. I don't know you. <laughs> Kicks him in the nuts and shit. That shit was funny. Yeah. What about you? Who, who, who would you be on King of the Hill? I would be. I speak like Boomhauer. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Bill. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so you would be the John Redcord's um, in a minute, uh, his son that's in the movie. <laughs> Legitimate son, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh man, you see, I, I would be Hank Hill, not not because of anything other than the fact that me and him have the same condition in uh, um, from the back, uh, our shoulders to our knee or to the back of our knees is just straight. <laughs> There's no ass. I, I tell everybody I have that Hank Hill ass. <laughs> you, have to, you, have to, you have to lay on the toilet to take a shit. <laughs> oh, dude, basically, man. There's like, um, when you go look at my memory foam fucking. Uh, <laughs> Is that man, you it's like, There's a flat space back here. It's not, it's, <laughs> it's like, who, who's it's, laying next to me? SpongeBob? <laughs> the impression is just squared. <laughs> oh, that's um, funny. Danny Garza says, I would rather watch baseball than basketball. I agree, man. I actually yeah. enjoy watching baseball uh, live. Yeah. Not, not so much like on the TV. It kind of can get boring. But when you're out there in the in the stands and you're watching the game, I think it's it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. What about you guys? Would you prefer baseball over basketball? Um, oh. Go ahead, Blue. I said I would. I said I, I'll have to let you all know when the next uh, – uh, here in San Antonio, sometimes it's on Tuesdays. Or Thursdays mission games, they're like two dollar two dollar nights, man. So the hot dogs are two dollars and the beers are two dollars, you know, and the soda is two bucks, you know. I heard a well, I heard a wise man said never trust a two dollar hot dog. Hey, I have had like four of them and <laughs> I gotta say I wouldn't say it. I figured. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. No, but well, guys, uh, okay. No, it's like I'd rather watch hockey than anything. I'd rather watch football, man. Football's my my sport. That's why yeah. I love. Mine, mine's hockey and soccer. Yours is what football and football and football. Football, football, football. football. Yeah, it's, it's more football. Oh, In the off season, I watch football. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd rather uh, but, watch cricket. 
you know. It's gross. Yeah, I almost wanted to watch rugby, man. Rugby's hard, dude. That's just they go yeah. hard. Dude, you know who we should invite to a rugby game? Fucking Mark. I bet you, I bet you Mark, the Australian barbarian, yeah, will fucking yeah, play yeah. dope ass fucking um rugby. Go right, he, a helmet. he has it, he has it in his DNA. He'll fucking throw a boomerang at you while you're running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that video that is sick. Yeah. Oh, you should have uh, put it on here, man. Damn. Yeah, the Australian fisherman. <laughs> 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 we love you, Mark. Hopefully you'll come on soon again. Um, but all righty, guys, that was a great show. I'm gonna go ahead and end that here, unless you guys have anything else to add. Danny, um, take it. Dan, let Danny uh, close this one out. All right, Big Blue, close us out. Like and subscribe. Let's see all right, go drink all your beer. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. That's, That's good. a good reason to like That's and subscribe, guys. Y'all have a good <laughs> night. Peace. Later, man.